Okay, well, I just finished up with the uh, building the extension table here, and that's just three quarter inch MD MDF. And I did this. What I did is I did the same thing as I used. I never really did a video on my outfeed table, but I have leftover laminate. But I just put three quarter MDF on that with three inch pine, and then put a champ around it. So I'm going to kind of stick to the same same look here. I still got leftover laminate, so that's good. Um, but there it is. It's uh, it's actually just sitting in there. That's how nice and tight uh, that thing sits in there. It slides in beautifully. Um, but I'll probably all I'm going to do is just cut a three inch, uh, three inch, or probably a three and, and three quarter inch holes. So that way, if I still want to make um, raised panel doors, I might my cutter will still fit in there. And uh, I'm not going to put any type of plate. I was thinking about buying a, a you know, a Craig or, or some sort of uh, router plate. But, I mean, that's that's pricey. And, I mean, I can make my own little inserts for this. And my router lift will still be able to come up above this so I can easily change my, my bits. So, this will, this is, you know, then I don't have to sit there and kind of dink around with the leveling or anything like that. I'll just have my little plate, which is be a little bit easier to... Uh, just put a few set screws in and then a few levelers and then get that nice and flush. But there it is. It's just sitting in there. Um, what I ended up doing is I cut this and wrapped it with the pine, put glue on both, you know, on the edge, got on there really good, uh, clamped it. I just did one, one piece at a time here. Uh, clamped it, ran some brads in there and did the other sides and all I did then is just put a couple of screws so that way it cinched this together so that way my edges are are uh, nice and strong but other than that you know the glue's all set up ready to go and nice thing about this is I'll just be able to move this over build a type of uh, I got a piece of of white metalene particle board I'm going to make that, make a little slider attachment, so we'll just slide over this, a couple clamps, and I'll be able to adjust it, it's going to stay nice and nice and, nice and parallel with the, uh, with the blade. But another nice thing I'll be able to do is, uh, after I get everything done, I'll be able to use my actual fence itself to come over, put a router, you know, use my router then, and get it so I can put my, uh, my slot, so that way I can use my miter gauge if needed. And I'll also, once I get this here all done, I'll use it and I'll do videos on that to put a T-track, which will be in the future, lay that down after I get my sled or my, my fence done for that. I'll just lay it this way, go against this, run it with my uh, router, or actually with this router, and I'll actually use my straight cutting bit, and I'll be able to get that going, and that ought to work out pretty good. But there it is, and it's just sitting in there. Uh, I'll pull it out here real quick if I can... This fits in there really nice, but uh, there's the construction, nothing fancy, um, got a little bit of glue for out, but you can see I, I, I just uh, glued, screwed, and brad, and clamped it up, let everything go, did a really light sanding just to make sure everything's nice and flush, uh, didn't want to really, you know, it was barely, just enough where you can barely get your nail, other than that I got a pretty pretty good all the way and I uh, didn't want to you know I didn't sand the whole thing I just barely hit the edges here just to make it flush but the main you know you want to keep it as flat as possible so but I think it's turning out great I will uh, I will keep on going forward keep on giving you guys uh, another update as soon as I get it next step is going to be laminating um, once I get that cut I'll probably do a video on spraying it and I'll probably already have it sprayed and I'm just going to use a board to show people how easy it is to do the, the lamination process. And after I get that set, I will uh, use my flush trim. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.